hyphen to be learned vanishing method factorization by vanishing method so what is vanishing method let us take one example x cube minus 19x minus 30 remember in this type of method the polynomial the given polynomial should be a cubic polynomial okay that means the maximum power of the variable must be 3 okay so let us take one example x cube minus 19x minus 30 let fx equal to x cube minus 19x minus 30 okay so what is fx fx means function of x it is called function of x okay so let us take the value of x haphazardly except 0 you can take 1 you can take minus 1 you can take 2 you can take minus 2 and so on so i am taking x equal to minus 1 suppose the value of x equal to minus 1 then the value of this polynomial will be minus 1 cube if you put the value minus 1 in place of x then it becomes this that means minus 1 plus 19 minus 30 that means uh, minus minus 1 plus minus 1 minus 11 minus 12 so it is not equal to 0 our motive is to make it 0 okay so i am taking x equal to minus 2 so x equal to minus 2 so minus 2 cube minus 19 into minus 2 minus 30 equal to minus 8 plus 38 minus 30 so 38 so minus 8 plus 30 8 how much 30 plus 30 minus 30 so it is 0 so for x equal to minus 2 the value of this polynomial is 0 so here we have to write down for x equal to minus 2 fx is 0 this is rough portion ok 0 therefore therefore x if you take this minus 2 to the left hand side then it becomes plus so therefore x plus 2 is a factor of fx is a factor of fx ok now what you have to do is you have to write this x plus 2 3 times first you write down equal to leaving this line you have to write at the second line x plus 2 x plus 2 again x plus 2 ok ok now here is x cube so what should be multiplied with this x to make x cube it is x square so you write down x square over here x square so x square means x square into x x cube now you write x cube over here from here i am getting x cube now x square into 2 how much 2 x square 2 x square ok so this 2 x square comes from here now we have to adjust this 2 x square because look in this question there is no term with x square that means we have to deduct it so minus 2x square ok now we have taken this minus 2x square as additional term so we have to adjust this minus 2x square from here so minus 2x you write down minus 2x then minus 2x into x minus 2x square we got it now 
माइनस टू एक्स इंटू टू मीन्स हाउ मच माइनस फोर एक्स माइनस फोर एक्स ना लुक इन द क्वेश्चन देर इज माइनस नाइनटीन एक्स एंड वी गॉट माइनस फोर एक्स सो वट टू विच टर्म शुड बी एडेड और सब्रैक्टेड विथ माइनस फोर एक्स सो दैट इट बिकम्स माइनस नाइनटीन एक्स इट इज माइनस फिफ्टीन एक्स वाई बिकॉज If you subtract minus fifteen x from minus forty four x, it becomes minus nineteen x. Is it clear? Okay. Now we have to adjust this minus five x fifteen x from here because we have taken this additional term. Minus fifteen. So minus fifteen x minus thirty. Minus thirty. Now you look. Minus thirty is here. Always remember, if the last term is equal to the last term of the given question, then our calculation is correct. Okay, so equal to. Now equal to x plus three, x plus sorry, x plus two, x plus two, x plus two. Take this these three terms as common. So the remaining terms are. X square minus two x minus fifteen. Okay. Equal to x plus two. And here x square minus two x minus fifteen. Now we have to factorize this term by middle term by the process of middle term. How x square fifteen into one fifteen into one means I have taught you in. Factorization video, how to factorize this term? Okay. Still, I am saying this over here also. Fifteen. So fifteen means how much? Fifteen into one means fifteen. So fifteen. If you break fifteen, then we get five and three. Okay. So five minus three. Five minus three x minus minus fifteen. Okay. So equal to x plus two. It becomes x square minus five x plus three x minus fifteen. It becomes you take x as common. So our answer is this: x plus two, x minus five, and x plus three. This is the answer. Now I am explaining again for your help. So the given question is x x x cube minus nineteen x minus thirty. Okay, we have to let this polynomial as f x. F x means function of x. Okay. Now we have to take we have to assume a value of x. Any number you can take. It it may be one. It may be minus one. It may be two. It may be minus two. But do not take zero. Okay. So, for x equal to minus two, we get that uh, the value of this polynomial is zero. So therefore, x plus two is a factor of f x. Why x plus two? Because if you take this minus two towards left, then it becomes x plus two. Okay, so x plus two is a factor of f x. Now, what you have to do is you have to write this x plus two three times, leaving the first line from the second line. You have to write three times. Okay, one x plus two x plus two x plus two. Now, the first term is x cube. X cube. So if you write here x square, then x square into x means x cube. Okay, then two into x square means two x square. But in the question there is no term with x square. That's why we have to deduct this x to x square. That's why I have written minus two x square. Okay. Now, two x square has been taken as additional term, so we have to adjust from here. That's why I have written minus two x over here. So minus two x into x means two x square. Now, two minus two x into two means 
4x minus 4x. You look at the question, there is minus 19x, but we got minus 4x. So we have to adjust how. If we subtract minus 15x from minus 4x, then it becomes minus 19x. Is it clear? So we got minus 19x. Now minus 15x is taken as additional term, isn't it? So we have to adjust from here. So minus 15x with x, if we multiply minus 15, then it will become minus 15x. That's why we have taken minus 15. So minus 15 into x minus 15x. Now the last term is minus 15 into 2 means minus 30. So minus 30 is the constant term of the polynomial. Always remember, if the if the if if in our calculation the last term got matched with the last term of the given question, then our calculation is correct. Okay. Now take these three terms x plus two x plus two x plus two as common and the remaining term in the bracket. And by the process of middle term, we have factorized this remaining part, and the final result is x plus two x minus five x plus three. Okay. So friends, I think it is helpful if you like my video for more, more update, for more videos to come, please share, like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.